Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you for our time together. I want us to pick up today in Acts 17, beginning with verse 1. Paul and Silas then traveled through the towns of Amphilus and Apollonia and came to Thessalonica, where there was a Jewish synagogue. As was Paul's custom, he went to the Jewish synagogue, and for three Sabbaths in a row, he used the scriptures to reason with the people. I notice that. He didn't just tell his testimony. <laughs> I get so tired of people today thinking that their testimony is going to get people saved. You use the scriptures. He explained the prophecies and proved that Messiah must suffer and rise from the dead. He said, this is Jesus. I'm telling you about is the Messiah. Some of the Jews who listened were persuaded and joined Paul and Silas, along with many God-fearing Greek men and quite a few prominent women. But some of the Jews were jealous, so they gathered some troublemakers from the marketplace to form a mob and start a riot. Now, there's a couple of things I want you to see there. Number one, he used the scriptures. Now, I see so many people today saying, don't read the Old Testament. How do you think Paul showed that Jesus was Messiah? When Paul talks about the scriptures, when Paul, Paul, when Paul talks about the scriptures are useful for rebuke and all this, Paul is talking about what we call today the Old Testament. So I, I do not comprehend the, this new modern doctrine in the church world that we throw out the, whole, the Old Testament. Excuse me, that's what Paul called the scriptures. But the second thing I want you to see here is that when religious people get jealous, they always find some troublemakers. Now, religious people don't attack you themselves. One of, one of the strangest things I've learned in life is that religious people will never hit you head on. Religious people will always use somebody else to attack you. Now, you've got to understand, I grew up not very nice. I mean, I didn't grow up in a Christian family in church. I grew up very heathen, okay? I always grew up, you fight your own battles. I always grew up, you know, bring it on. But when he, I got saved and I got around the religious world, I was so shocked to find that religious people don't want confrontation. Religious people don't want to face you themselves. When religious people get jealous, they always find somebody else to cause the trouble for you. Now, I would challenge you today, if you're a Christian and you've got somebody stirring up trouble and you can never figure out who they are, uh, look to the Christian community, sorry, Look to the religious community, sorry, because they're the ones that always get somebody else to do the dirty work because they don't want their hands to be dirty.